I took a little trip to Dee Dee's. Shit, I gotta get me some more scrubs. Some scrubs, you know, not the scrub as you know. When I say, what did I say? Yeah, I always find a mirror. Cause I never can fucking just stand in front of the mirror and just start looking at my shit. Cause there's always somebody passing by. I gotta go in like these kind of aisles. You know what I'm saying? Where like the furniture is still like that. But I hanging all my shit up there. I like the frames. You know, decoration. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try and leave. These match like one of them dresses that I saw on Sheen. Sheen? These are a size 6. So I'm gonna check it out. I don't know. It's, it's $8.99. I'm over here. I got a few pairs of clothes, dresses, but I'm really supposed to be getting one scrub. And then I can get myself something. These are big. <laughs> Look. Okay, let's see. Hold on. These are big as fuck. <laughs> Those are hella big. Hold on. Yeah, these are big. No, they're cute though. I like it because it has flowers. But that's gonna be for that. Kendall and Kylie see-through bag. It's kind of like, it reminds me of a bag that you wear to like the beach or something. Or just, I don't know. So I ain't gonna get too much stuff, but let me just pause, put my shoe back on, let me go get the scrubs. I found me a little laundry rolling um, hamper. They finally got one. I've been always going to the other DDs and it's always like broken or fucking gone. So I found this one. But I think I'm done. I'm using this as my cart because all the carts that they be pushing all around the aisles is so freaking like I always got to move around them, walk around them. They're just like trying to push their way into trying to get into the aisle and all that shit. I'm gonna go look at this clearance section right here. And depending on sizes, let's check it. This is cute right here. Looks like you can sleep in that shit. <laughs> Let me go to the scrubs. Looks like I got short hair, huh? So it's right here. Scrubs. Scrubs pants. 
So I'm gonna just go look up in here with the small. I already got black, so I'm hoping I can try to find another color. Ooh, Dickies. Dickies be costing a little bit more. Last time I got one was for ten dollars. This is actually a nice color. We find this shit fast, huh? But I don't know. But I'm just having a little fun over here. It's too easy to go find me a scrub, so I'm just gonna get it and go. Alright. Later. I'll see my nail table. And then I want to show you guys my ring light too. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Oh, yeah. oh my god. So I got this laundry. How you say it? Laundry rack, like dry drying rack. Um I got this at um at Ross, but I got it in um in Turlock. So Turlock, California. I got this for $3.99. I finally got one, a small one. Cause all my other ones are like the ones that are standing on the floor. The tall one. And um I have actually I have two ring lights that are standing and this is my third one. So it's a very small one. I guess you could do it like in front of the How do you say? You can do it in front of the kitchen, have it on top of the island table, but it does have the different settings. I'm gonna keep it on this one. Um, my nail table, if y'all can see my nail table, y'all was like, damn, did you just cut a hand off? No, I did not cut a hand off. And that's some of my work right there. I'm trying to, I try to do an ombre. I did it. I'm not sure if I encapsulated that. Did I encapsulate that? No, I did not. Oh wait, I think I did. I think I did a little encapsulation. And this is part of the phone stand. I mean, actually, um, it could be a phone stand or a clip. Um, hold on. So it's like a suction. So you gotta put this, push that down. Suction, and it holds the hand in there, and then you start working on it. So I'm gonna start. I mean, like I stay in a room, so y'all, um, y'all, like I told y'all before that there's a neighbor here that doesn't like the smell. So I have to kind of. Just, I don't know. Is my Michael Kors. But let me get to you guys. One second. Oh. Yeah, I'll get to the Michael Kors, but I still want to show you guys another thing that I got for a very, very good bargain. Guess how much this costs? This is a chain. It's not. Not, how do you say, removable? Like you can't remove it. Not unless you really want to. But the only thing is just that it flops over. So you would really have to. I need to put myself into a point where, and my physician said that I'm in good weight. How am I in good weight when my stomach is hanging down? Like, 
I thought never in my teens or my 20s or my 30s that I said to myself, why is big girls fucking stomachs hang, hang down? It's the ugliest thing that, that just makes them look. And now, well, because the reason why I had my stomach look like this is because my son was so big, he stretched my stomach. He stretched my stomach, and that's why it was hanging down for um, a little. But it's now like this. <laughs> and it's so embarrassing, but I don't even care. Because, hey, I got one life. Just like Shine said, one life, one shine. And that's gonna be my line for now. One life, one shine. Why is, why is my YouTube name Shine Her? Shiner. That means uh, shine. <laughs> Shiner. One life, one shine. Guess how much this shit cost? A dollar for you. Okay? Yes. And then, I got this, um, I got this early this year, around March, February, February March. It's by Ross. It was $9.99. It's really like a makeup, toiletry kind of uh, bathroom. Well, let me open it, but there's paper inside and juicy. Okay, juicy lady. Okay. Shine. Shine, juicy lady. So, you guys see my descriptions as my user, YouTube user, or my name is Shiner at Juicy Lady. So, this is where I got the name Juicy Couture, but I didn't get the couture part. You already know. So, it's it's velvet. It feels so good. I could wear this as put it on your arm. Carry it like this. You can carry it like this. Or you can carry it
crazy and I will show you guys this in a second but it was this style MK in this uh, style purse to a handbag it was that color in this so I ended up buying this because the other one and it was so funny is because when I was in line I had other things in my hand and when I wanted to buy it it was sitting on top of the table but I forgot to tell the lady hey that goes my purse I need, I'm gonna that's for, for me because they won't let you carry it around the store so you have to they have to place it to the side and my dumb ass fucking does not buy it because I don't remember that it's there so I'm buying whatever I'm buying like the pieces of clothing and other things that I had and I end up not fucking buying it and I came back the next day and it was gone with that color with this purse but that's the reason why I wore this dress and so I can show off the purse with the dress and see how you can wear it okay, it doesn't have to be this dress it can be casual you can wear it with a blazer you can wear it with slacks is a mini 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 this is my favorite type of course but I don't even rock my course like that but for this yeah and how it's looking like right now in the mirror over there I don't know if this is a good angle y'all like y'all wanna see my mirror over here closet but yeah so there's not too much things in here because like I said I just came into this room started living in this room or started living back with my dad um, May 15 so before that I was in another house down the street and I was there for like nine months but they didn't want to hire the price and over here my dad that moved out of this room they went back to the country they went back to the Philippines so this room is cheaper than this room is cheaper than the room that I live down the street just so y'all know and that's thinking smart once you find out that some someone is gonna be vacant then and especially my daughter and well, my daughter, my daughter is 23 years old. Okay, she's 23, and um, my dad is here. My mom, but my mom and my dad are in the Philippines, and my daughter. So I'm here by myself with other people here. So there's five bedrooms here, and I am waiting for the landlord to clean and brush the floor. <laughs> so. You guys love this purse. Look how small and cute this is. No, I have so much hair. And then last is some like of course cream. Um, it doesn't really say like a name of the purse. I do not really get into much. It even has that is really authentic and you know Ross is not gonna sell no fake ass shit like you know how other countries they be selling the bootleg you know what I'm saying like that's what they do when you get stuff in the country it's fake like Jordan and all that shit so it's like you kind of have to watch what you're buying too like even if it's like say like champion shoes or like bands like it could be fake because I've seen some YouTubers that will show fake bands and a real one and it's like god damn they would really make some fake bands to fucking sell and I never catch up to like the fake ones but if I do see it I'm a fucking roll my eyes like yeah anyways 
So this is a bucket bag. It has its strap inside. And I was thinking about giving this to my daughter. She's not really a Michael Kors. I'm not really a Michael Kors, but for some reason, it holds good. I have a lot of purses that are not branded, which I don't mind. I, I have some branded um, purses. I have a real Gucci purse. I have two of them. I have a red one and I have a black one. And then I have a Chloe, a Chloe purse. That costed about $400. Um, no, actually, yeah, like 400, 400, 400 something. And um, I haven't worn that yet. I wore my Gucci one, my black one. But I only took pictures of those. I never really wore it like on my vlogs and stuff. Um, and uh, my red one, I wore on Valentine's Day with my ex. Took some pictures with that. I never really posted that either. And um, but hopefully you guys can see. Um, yes, and they do. Yes, they, they do have the, um, the duster bag. You know, the duster bag to hold the bag inside from having the weather to make it, you know, have it all wrinkled and fucked up and shit and broken and pieces and all that shit. So, this is so freaking cute, right? So, you put your hand. Always Gucci or some shit? Something like that. I forget. I need to look it up again, but I'll come back to that. So I said, I got that, and now I got this. I can put this in my bathroom. Well, I'm loving this because I do have Gucci. Like, I have Gucci purses. I have Gucci shoes that match my Gucci red shoes with the rhinestones on the sole. I mean, on the outer sole of the rubber, like these shoes. It looks just like these. My Gucci ones. It's, it's, damn, what you got that? Fucking dirty. I only wore this once. Look at this. <laughs> I wore this once. Y'all yeah, could tell how good shape it is. But, this is a Forever 21. Yes, I'm a type of person that loves to take care of my stuff. I, I take care of my stuff. I'm not those 
kids that be wearing the bands and it's fully white, but then it's all dirty all around and it got wrinkles on it. It's just, it's dirty. Like they play around in the fucking playground outside. Like it looks dirty and all dirt around it. There's no clean, it's not clean, it's not crisp. It's not none of that. I don't dress like that. A lot of people wear their Vans, their whatever the fuck. Adidas is, let's say Reebok, whatever it is. And it's all fucked up and it's all dirty. I guess that was their style to say in the 90s of how they want to put it to look like, to me, I look at that like high school, like student. Not even high school, like student. You know what I mean? Like it's all dirty and shit. I saw like I seen some people wear all white vans, slip on, and it's so fucking dirty. It's not black, but it's it, it it's there, almost getting there. It's like there, but it's not fully. It's like what the fuck is that? That shit is ugly as fuck. That's those styles is like the shoe is all the way getting all fucking dirty as fucking getting like to throw away so my gucci ones have the rhinestones it has two actually it's in my storage and i really need to get into my storage and shit but it has the rhinestones all around it and has the bee the bumblebee but anyways, let me put my shoe back on and uh, yeah, I gotta close this. So just wanted to show you guys my purses. Um, leave any comments. I know that you guys are probably gonna say, well, at Ross, it's very hard to find. We're not gonna find the same type of deal. Um, it's just a one-time kind of thing where they sell it and then the second day you're not gonna see it again, which is true. But for the other purses, um, you can still find, um, DDs and, um, the Dollar Tree. I mean, that's not if they sell out. And it does go by season, so, yeah. So, just wanted to show you guys my little mini purse haul at Ross and DDs and the Dollar Tree. So, if y'all want to say anything, y'all can leave it in my comments. All right. Got to start charging my phone. Bye y'all.